the Lord and Sharada Devi. His grandfather, Dwarkanarthi God, was a rich landlord. Of course, he was from an affluent family, right? And a social reformer. His father, Epitramarthi God, was a leader of the Brahmo Samaj. You must have heard about Brahmo Samaj, right? It's a religious movement and a sect in the 19th century. Bengal, which attempted a revival of the ultimate monistic basis of Hinduism as laid down in the Upanishads. The Bengal family was a treasure trove of talent in every field. They hosted the publication of literary magazines, theatre, theatrical, recitals of Bengali and Western classical music featured there regularly. Tagore's family, in fact father, invited several professional musicians to stay in the house and teach Indian classical music, which is now very famous and very nicely known as Rabindra Sangeet. Right? You must have heard about Rabindra Sangeet. The song which you heard right now was one of the Rabindra Sangeet recitals. Rabindranath Tagore's short stories, you must have heard of a lot of short stories, which are the perfect depiction of Indian society, set in the British rule, of course. Yeah? He typically kept the plot very simple and it was confined to the geographical and the cultural background of India, of course. And he had a special touch for women, women's boundless love and her job in the life. Whatever domestic violences or any other part that the women used to go to, it was all mentioned in the short stories and poems of Tagore, which is very, very important for us as teachers to go to. By reading through Tagore's short stories, we as women realize that how powerful we are, how positioned we are, and how ignorance level is boundless for every achievement that we need to take forward, right? So, I would just mention in short, five little short stories which Tagore has to tell. The first one is Mashi, which is also called as Masi, and Mashi is called in Calcutta in Bengali, yeah? Mashi is a common term in Bengali used for addressing an aunt, which you all know, right? Though Masi is a central character, this story touches upon martial, I would say, rather marital relationships and loneliness of every woman. The second one is the postmaster. I don't know how many of you have read this postmaster. The postmaster can be looked at from two perspectives. The first one, a three-day bread man's reluctance to adjust in the rural area. And the second one, a woman's loneliness and devotion towards her benefactor. The third one, of course, is Kaulivala. You must have heard about Kaulivala, yeah, which you will hear after some time also. Kaulivala, or the man from Kabul, is the story of Abdul Rahman and the seller of seasonal goods from Kabul. You know Kabul is famous for? Rifles, even dates. Yeah. So Abdul Rahman's longing for his family, especially his daughter, is the central of the story. He is poor, hence away from his loved ones, unlike the rich narrator of the story living in Canada. The third, the fourth of course is Sukha. And this is a little girl, I would say, is a poignant story. Jagor brings forth the story of a new village girl in a small village called Chandipur from the river sides of West Bengal, lived in the Banki Kantha family, and Subha was the youngest of all three daughters. And the last but not the least, very important one for all of us is the editor. Right? The editor, which is written again by Tagore, explores the father and the daughter relationship. In the editor, once again, from the father's perspective, how important is the daughter in his eyes and how important is the father's perspective. So, 
not wasting my time, I would like to go live on one of the best titles that I thought to have of this program is Kekna Chandogre, which you already heard and written by uh, Gurudev. It was very well sung, I would say the vibes came, you know, right from the time it began. And also I could feel the beauty in those beautiful Bengali sarees and not, don't miss the little bindi that they have worn, which gives a flavor to being a part of Bengal, yeah, as sweet as Rashadullah always. So let me sing this poem to you, everyone. I want you to listen to each and every part of this poem. Right? Ekma Chano Ray. If they answer not to your call, oh, no. I think there's some disturbance in the mic. Yeah. Alright. If they answer not to your call, walk alone. See, Ekma Chano Ray is to walk alone. So if there is no one to answer your call, no one to be with you together in life, Gurudev says, Ek Machado, walk alone. Yeah? There is this power of walking alone in life always. If they are a free and cover, mutely, facing the wall, O thou unlucky one, open your mind and speak out alone. See, everyone talks about opening the mind and speaking out alone. Even today as we women, we need to open up our mind and speak out alone. Right? If they turn away and desert you when crossing the wilderness, O oh thou unlucky one, trample the thorns under thy tread and allow the bloodline track to travel alone. What if I miss the rain of my life? What if I do not come along with people? What if I do not mix and mingle with the society? What if I have to shed my blood and sweat and get back to my normal life? Even though if I term as myself as an unlucky one, even though I need to walk alone. That's what Guruji wants to depict. If we shut doors and do not hold up the light, when the night is troubled with strong, O oh, thou unlucky one, with the thunder flames of pain, ignite your own heart and let it burn alone. But don't forget, Ekna Chalo. So this is the beauty of this poem and this little impact that every one of you all have added to today's flavor. And never to forget, BPS team of course, I thank you wholeheartedly girls, ladies, women. It's your day today. Just drop on. Thank you so much. Thank you so much ma'am for enlightening us with life of uh, Guru Dev. Now I would like to invite our principal ma'am, Mrs. Shalom Malhotra, who is going to tell us about Shambhalata, a story of the life of a female, the way she takes the challenges in her life. It's not only the Chagunata, but every female can connect herself with the story. Thank you so much, ma'am. I feel fortunate and blessed that in our busy schedule, we have been given a food of thought in mentor's magic. A big thank to me, Hari ma'am, for giving us this opportunity to I feel fortunate and blessed that in our busy schedule we have been given a food of thought in mentor's magic. A big thanks to me, Hari Ma'am, for giving us this opportunity to think on it at least because otherwise we never thought of going through the, uh, Sri Tagore's uh, works and beautiful writings what we have written. But we have never thought of this. But through this, we have got this opportunity to think on it and go through his beautiful world. So the most precious thing which we will remember throughout our life is that we got a chance to celebrate the birthday of Guru Dev. The beauty is we are evoking the emotions of Tagore. Many of the things have been written by the writers and critics, but as a simple reader, Without claiming anything, like critics, Gurudev's personality was very soft, 
delicate, affectionate, loving, humble, full of patriotism, his love towards nature, leading a life without boundaries and fear. He was blessed by the blessings to pen down the emotions. No one has that. Very rare people have this blessing because everyone cannot write so beautifully. Everyone cannot express their feelings with so beautifully. So Gurudev was blessed with this blessing. So literature has a deep impact on the society. It changes the course of thinking. The power of words is enormous. And which one can see throughout the Gurudev's work. The social political impact of that period can be seen in his work. His novels, stories, songs, dance dramas and essays spoke to topics political and personal like Gitanjali, Gora, Postmaster, Kabuli Kana and Charu Lata, which I am going to talk about today are his best known works. His com compositions were chosen by two nations as national anthems. Do we have to talk about aware about this? Yes. Do you know? Yes. yes. His compositions were chosen for two nations, that is yes. our Indian's national anthem, Chalitamaman, and Bangladesh national anthem, that is Amar Shonar Bangla. And the other Sri Lankan national anthem was inspired by his work only. So we are so lucky that we are celebrating his birthday today. So now, and uh, now I would like to put light upon Charulatha, the beautiful work of Rabindranath Tagore. Charulatha is a very delicate woman, story of Tagore, in which you can see pent up emotions literary ambitions and miscommunication in the 19th century. It was renamed as the Lonely Wife and also called Nasta Mira means a broken nest. So we can all understand by the title of this story, right? The story revolves around Charulata, the childless, intelligent, and beautiful wife of Bhupani. His husband's name was Bhupani. Bhupani is an upper class Bengal, intellectual with a keen interest in politics and the freedom movement. He edits and publishes a political newspaper. Charulata is interested in arts, literature, and poetry. Her interests were different from his from her husband. Although Bhupati loves his wife, but he has no time for his wife to spend with. She has little to do in her house by a fleet of servants. She has so many people around her, but still she was absolutely lonely in the surrounded. She was surrounded by the people, but still she was not have that feeling, that love. And what we would say, he was seeking for, right? Sensing her boredom, because he was well aware, Bhupati was well aware about her boredom. She was aware of her boredom. She was aware of her boredom. She was aware of her boredom. But Bhupati, what he did, Bhupati invites Charu's elder brother and, and his wife to. Umapata and his wife Mala to live with him so that she will feel better because he don't have time to spend with her so he can arrange someone, he can someone else to spend time with her so only this people can be there to look up for but still she was not looking for other people right? Umapata helps Bhupati Umapata? Who is Umapata? Charulata yeah. helps Bhupati in running the magazine and printing press. Manga, who was Manga? Who was Manga? Brother's wife, yes. Manga with her silly and crude ways is 
no company for the sensitive, intelligent Charmalala. Amal. There was suddenly a person came into the story, Amal. Who was Amal? Now I will tell you. Amal was Bhupati's cousin. Suddenly he came to visit them to their place and asked him to encourage. Bhupati asked Amal to encourage Charulata for her cultural interest. Because Amal also had the same interests. Uh, Charulata and Amal, they both have the same interest. So Bhupati asked Amal, please encourage Charulata to en enhance their cultural interest. Right? Amal is young, handsome and is in the same age group of Charulata. He has literary ambitions and share interests in poetry with her. He provides Charu with much needed intellectual companionship and attention. Jo usko uske husband se nahi mil raha tha, jo attention aur jo literary interest uska tha, wo usko kisse mila? Amal se. So she was she was like very happy with the things he chalo ki ke samare se to talk about same wavelength ki log jab hume milne lagte hain, so we we wapas se likely ki hone lagta hai. So she felt in that way. A beautiful and teasing potential develops between Charulata and Amal. There is a hint of rivalry when she published, who Charulata published a short story on her own without his knowledge. So what happened? थोड़ा सा उन दोनों के बीच में मन मुटाव हुआ क्योंकि उसके बिना नोटिस में डाले Charulata ने एक Short story published The following is publishing of a poem that she had forbidden him from getting published. He realizes that Charulata is in love with him, but he is reluctant to reciprocate due to the guilt involved. Meanwhile, Charu's brother and sister-in-law, Charu's brother Umapada and sister-in-law Manda. Swindled Bhupati and ran away. Dhoka diya, paise ka loss hua, aur wo maha se chale gaye. To Bhupati got very disturbed, bohat disturbed ho gaye. Unke jo paisa tha, sab kuch tha, wo sab chala gaya. Disturbance tha to, jab wo ghar aate hain, then let's see what happened. Amal is uncomfortable with Charu's higher intellect, intelligent and he has helped in nurture. चारू लता को ग्रो करने में किसने हेल्प किया था आमल ने लेकिन वो उसी से ही आम को एक फील करने लगा बिकॉज़ शी इज स्टार्टेड ग्रोइंग इन द फील तो वो अनइजी फील करने लगा और वो बिना किसी को कुछ बताए ही लीव्स अन अनाउंस वहां से चला गया ही लीव्स अ लेटर टू भूपति एंड फॉरबिड्स चारू टू स्टॉप हिम राइटिंग उसने भूपति के लिए एक लेटर छोड़ा और बोला कि चारों को लिखना बंद ना करने के लिए एनकरेज करना वो लिखती रहे उसको उसका लिखना बंद नहीं करना चाहिए शी इज वेरी गुड इन दिस तो लेट हर कंटिन्यू विद हर वर्क तो चारों इज हार्ड टू वो दुखी थी क्योंकि जो उसका गुड कंपेनियन था फाइनली उसको मिला ही इज लेफ्ट विदाउट टेलिंग हर तो वो डिसअपॉइंट हो गई उस चीज से बट शी हाइड्स हर डिसअपॉइंटमेंट उसने सब कुछ अपना अपने अंदर छुपाया और वो नॉर्मल जैसे पहले रहती थी वापस उसी सिचुएशन में आ गई और वैसे ही अपने सर्वेंट्स के आजू बाजू रहने लगी एक तरह से जैसे कि एक चिड़िया पिंजरे में गैर रहती है वैसे ही चारों लगा का जीवन वापस वैसे ही शुरू हो गया उसने लिखना बंद नहीं किया बट लेकिन वो लाइवलीनेस उसकी लाइफ से वापस चला गया तो इस छोटी सी स्टोरी के थ्रू गुरुदेव ने जैसा कि मैम ने बताया उन्होंने पर बहुत लिखा है और इस स्टोरी के थ्रू भी कितना डिफिकल्ट लाइफ है वुमेन का कि उसको सब मैनेज करना है सारे सेक्रीफाइसिस करने हैं अपने इंटरेस्ट को दबाकर हस्बैंड के इंटरेस्ट को ध्यान रखना है उनकी चॉइसिस को ध्यान रखना है हर चीज लाइफ में पैसा नहीं होती 
She has no problem in her life. बहुत पैसा था, बहुत एक फैमिली थी. People के काम करने के लिए हमें कई बार feel होता है कि हमें कोई help ही नहीं है, तो हमें खुद करना होगा. But people are there. Think of servants for that to look after each and everything at your place. But still she was not happy. ऐसा क्या था? जिस जो उसका दो का कारण था. पैसा भी है, सब कुछ है. We ladies need time. We ladies need love. We ladies need appreciation. चाहे वो छोटा सा ही क्यों ना हो, आज बहुत सुंदर लगता है, right? इतना ही है ना बहुत सुंदर है, right? तो ये उसकी लाइफ का सबसे बड़ा वैक्यूम था, जो रेगुलर जी ने गुरु देव ने इतना ब्यूटीफुली डिपेक्ट किया इस स्टोरी की। मैंने तो बहुत शॉर्ट में सुनाई है, इट्स अ फिल्म, मूवी है वो ये। तो आप देखेंगे तो यू कूड फील हम अपनी लाइफ को खुद ऐसा रिलेट कर सकते हैं उसके साथ में कि इट हैपेंस मेनी एट टाइम्स हम भी लोगी फील करते हैं कभी कभी रेयरली होता है बहुत फ्रीक्वेंटली नहीं होता है कि कोई वो जो हमारी बात सुने होता है ऐसा कभी कभी है ना जो हमें भी समझे जो मेरी और मतलब मेरी रखी बहुत अच्छे हस्बैंड्स हैं जो बहुत ध्यान रखते हैं ऐसा नहीं है बट से कोई ऐसा पॉइंट आता है वी फील डैट वैक्यूम चाहे वो मम्मी के लिए हो चाहे वो पापा के लिए हो चाहे किसी के लिए हो वैक्यूम रहता है वो अटेंशन चाहिए होता है चाहे कितने ही बड़े हो जाए हम छोटे बच्चे के लिए बोलते हैं वो अटेंशन सीख रहे हैं हम कितने ही बड़े हो जाए वो अटेंशन हमें भी चाहिए होता है तो थैंक्स टू बोलते हैं कि आज उनका बोलते हैं हमें भी बहुत हो गया थैंक्स टू निहारी मान की उतनी उनकी गुरुदेव की इतनी सुंदर पाइंट्स को आज हम बहुत हो गए कभी सोचा ही नहीं था कि पढ़ना भी जरूरी और मीन्स इनको देखा है कि ब्यूटीफुल जो उन्होंने वर्क देखा है कभी नहीं सोचा कि इसे हम पढ़े और बहुत हो गए और जब पढ़ा तो आई हैव गुड वर्क्स अभी भी है कि बाकी में हमारी लाइफ से वो रिलेट करती है समाप्ति ना करे राइट थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू मैम Thank you, ma'am, for the extract of this story, which is causing us to read this story. Now, I would like to invite Rina Lathur, ma'am, for a poem, Go from the Temple. Thank you so much, ma'am. Humanization of God does not really mean that God is God of humanity. But also, it means that it is the God in every human being. By Gurudev Rabindranath Tagore. Good afternoon, everyone. This is really a precious moment for me to recite a poem of India's most eminent poet, writer, composer, philosopher, social reformer, and painter. Guru De Rabindranath Tagore. According to Guru Rabindranath Tagore Ji, God is found where the children is still, the ground and with the man who makes the path, breaking stone. God is with the people doing something useful, productive work. The poem I am going to recite is one of his Best poem ever. Go not to the temple to put flowers upon the feet of God. First, fill your own house with the fragrance of love and kindness. Go not to the temple to light candles before the altar of God. First, remove the darkness of sin, pride, and ego from your heart. Go not to the temple to bow down your head in prayer. First, learn to go in humanity before your fellow men and apologize to those you have wronged. Go not to the temple to pray on bandit knees. First, bend down to light someone who is down trodden and strengthen the young ones. Not crush them. Go not to the temple to ask for forgiveness for your sins. First, forgive from your heart to those who never hurt you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.
She talks too much and had a lot of queries. We had lively discussions with each other. One fine day, when we were discussing something, she heard a voice coming out from the window. She went towards the window and the Kabuliwala was standing in front of her door. What are you saying? Shabji, I am from Kabul and Kabul is famous for dry foods, so I am selling those. Pack some good quality of dry foods. Yeah. 
fast van. It was an auspicious occasion of our family. But I could feel restlessness in the hall. I could see the females of our family were moving here and there in fear. And my wife was seen to be upset and scared. Shahib, I have come here to see my Korki, little Korki. My wife denied.
as we all know that planting paper boats is one of the most favorite activities of children. This film tells us about what goes on mind of a little child while planting these paper boats in a stream. So let's start the poem, Paper Boats. Day by day, I float my paper boats, one by one, down the running streams. In big black letters, I write my name on them and the name of the village where I live. I hope that someone in some strange land will find them and know who I am. Wherever the boat will go and that children, whoever see the boat will know who I am. So I have written the name of my village and my own name in block letters. I load my little boats with shuli flowers. So do you know what are shuli flowers? Harsinga. Have you seen those flowers? Yes, they are beautiful flowers with bright orange stem. From our garden and hope that their blooms of dawn will be carried safely to the land in the night. So they are the, they bloom in the night time. These shuli flowers, they bloom at night and they fall down early in the morning. So the, oh, the ground looks so beautiful. I launch my paper boats and look up into the sky and see the little clouds sitting there wide bulging sails. I know, I know not what playmate of mine. So your playmate is the God for that little child. In the sky, sends them down the air to race with my boats. When night comes, I bury my face in my arms and dream that my paper boats float on and on under the midnight stars. The fairies of sleep are sailing in them and the lady in their baskets full of dreams. Now this child is sleeping and he's dreaming about his boat. But the fairies will bring some fortune to him. So this poem gives us a message of peace, love and joy in our life. It tells us about hope and determination in what you want to achieve or happen in your life. So I am sure this poem, paper birds must have taken you all in your imaginative journey of your childhood. So what are you waiting for? Make your paper birds and go ahead. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. This poem surely took us to our childhood days. Now I would like to invite Preeti ma'am for the poem Face to Face. Let me not pray to be shattered from dangers, but to be fearless in facing them. Let me not beg for the settling of my pain, but for the heart to conquer it. This is life, according to Gurudev Rabindranath Tagore. Good afternoon. I, Vidijan, would like to share the thought of Gurudev about life and also recite a poem of Gurudev's on life. What is life according to Gurabindranath Tagore? Tagore opined that the contradiction of human life provoked the quest for the truth. He firmly believed that every human has great soul having sufficient potential to progress toward superhuman being in the universal soul. 
that can be achieved only through education. The poem entitled Face to Face shows his devotion to the Almighty God about and how we seek blessing in work and daily struggle of life. Day after day, O Lord of my life, shall I stand before thee face to face? With folded hand, O Lord of all words, shall I stand before thee face to face? Under thy great sky, in solitude and silence, with humble heart, shall I stand before thee face to face? In this laborious world of time, Tamutoyas with toil and with struggle among hearing crowd, shall I stand before thee face to face? And when my work shall be done in this world, O King of Kings, alone and speechless, shall I stand before thee face to face? Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Now I would like to request Asmita ma'am to come and talk about the role of literature on common man life. Good afternoon, everybody. So, not prepared. It's going to be flow. So, literature, as they say, humanities. So, the first and foremost thing literature teaches us and what these writers are teaching is to be human. So, our basic purpose is being human. We should have sympathy, empathy, love, and affection. Competition is a good, okay? But we, the vision should be broader. Literature is having its own effect, but it comes from, the stories are coming from the common man. All the stories, whether it is jungle, uh, whether it is face to face, but I think so it is taken from Gitanjali. So Gitanjali um, is the work where he is talking to God, to Almighty. So Gurudev at that stage, he was on that planet, but it's still that he was connecting himself with God. So Gitanjali is totally devoted to God because it, is, it was that stage of life. And you can see the impact of freedom struggle. In every story, you will see that the atrocities are going on. And look at his powerful thing. The most powerful one, he was such a soft-hearted man that he was feeling the emotion of a female huh? so closely to where she was burning and he was very progressive all the freedom was given to the girls to his wife in his family and when we get that freedom to blossom the reasoning starts okay knowledge starts pouring in and that's why and it is said that Bengal and Kerala, these are the two states where education rate is higher. So when this rate is higher, so people are more, what? The vision is broader. They don't think on petty things like, okay? So literature is a very vast, it is like an ocean. The more we deep, go deep down it, because oceans have their own world. It's a wonderful world. We explore something different. It is other than this world. And the best part is man gave us this opportunity. And we were exploring. So it was altogether a wonderful thing. Never ever think that whatever we are doing for studies, it's a useless exercise. Nothing goes in vain. So when the, our teachers were teaching us daffodils, we were not listening to her. But when we came, when we were doing those daffodils in MA, it was like our teacher has taught in six childhood. So we revisit our childhood. So what is this? This is again revisiting our lives. 
So be very kind and maximum times we are prejudiced towards other person. We don't know, but we frame an image to find so also like that. So the basic thing which literature, literature is teaching is be human, be kind, be affectionate and don't judge people. And don't do atrocities if you are given a chair, if you are given a position, if wherever you are, as teachers also, we should give our children the right that they should explore the world. If in drawing, if they wish to make flowers towards the sky, let them make. It's their imagination. It's original. So this is the purpose of our education. And we are going to conclude this session. Before this session, it's a birthday. And Bengal is famous for Rashabulla. So today, a Rashabulla has been provided by Veta Hits. And after that, a Vishal Khan from primary side. We will have a flavor of pan from primary teachers. So, ma'am, please, if you want to sing. Lots of love and with lots of local sweetness that we have got today. I'd like to end this program of the first mental magic show ever that I thought it was just a button in the dream that came into me that let's begin. You know, let's begin with uh, flowing thoughts, with flowing quotations and poems and stories if possible by one and all. The best part that I liked today was your participation, yeah, which came as a surprise just a day ago uh, through, uh, through us, with her of course. So I would like to thank her basically because I understand the person who's been very flow in the literature part and also wants to show up something where it becomes an inspiration. So you have become an inspiration for me today. Thank you so much, Asmita Ma'am. With a whole heart, I like to thank you so much. Yes, of course, when you come across such things, you understand the basic part that Gurudev has told us. If you know, this name is been given by Mahatma Gandhi. Have you ever thought of Gurudev is a, uh, I would say, an upadhi that has been given by Mahatma Gandhi because Mahatma Gandhi used to always term Ravindranath Tagore as his guru and that is the reason he said you are a true Gurudev in the freedom fight of India. So before I end I would just like to sing two lines wherein it gives an essence of Ravindra Sangeet right? and I would like you all to join because it's a Hindi song which has been, uh, which was been sung by Shreya Kunsal, yeah, in Bengali, and then she uh, translated the same song in Hindi.
feel? How did you feel today? Did you feel, except for the heat of course, how did you feel? Did you feel? Literate, did you feel? Nice. We must be talking about literature, especially Indian literature and the artist. So thank you so much. Is there anyone who would like to add on? Anybody? Like to add on? Anybody would like to say something? It's not in English, you can express in Hindi and Marwari also. Because language gives us this power, it is the words which give us power to communicate with each other. So please come out, uh, just leave, share your information, and if you want to break the ice, you are most welcome to be here. Anybody else, please. Give a kick to your own self, your courage, and come. I really appreciate the efforts of all the teachers. I know many of you have that fear, stage fear, but still you have come up with the flying colors, I would say. A big round of applause for all the teachers. Well done, well done teachers. Well done. Very well explained. Very well, very nicely you have uh, said all the poetry and stories. It is really wonderful. Thanks to my, ma'am, the whole team. Okay. Thank you once again. Thank you so much. Oh, my God.